Hi, and welcome to the first class in the APY 60. First, let me introduce the crew here today. We have Jesse, Wendy, Jessica, and Sage. Now, Jesse's going to be the modifier today. So, any time throughout this class, if you can't breathe through the pose or it gets a little too intense, look at Jesse for a safe yet effective variation or modification. Now, of course, the most important member of the class is you. So, it's time to get up and join us. We'll start standing today. We'll bring the feet on the outsides of the mat. Put a slight bend in the knees in case you're tight like me. Fold at the hips, grab opposite elbows on the way down, and hang out for a moment or two. It's pretty easy. Now check this out. Right away, you're a little tight. Check out Jess. She's got a slight bend in the knees. This will start to take the pressure off. Good. First, we'll get comfortable. Then I'm going to challenge that comfort throughout the next few minutes of this class. Now, we've talked about the breath a lot. It's important. In here, a circular breathing pattern called Don Tien. It's the most effective breathing pattern I've ever found. That's why I use it. Try it. On the inhale, it's simple. Draw it in through the nose, down the back, fill lower lung from bottom to top, and the exhales up the front of the chest, again out through the nose. Now, besides the breath giving us all this energy and calmness, the breath actually reflects our state of mind. I can tell if someone's upset or not upset, in pain or not, happy or sad, simply by listening to the breath. And if I can do it, you can do it as well. So any time during this class you lose this fluid breath reflecting your peace, that's your cue to back off, to modify, to check out what Jesse's doing and see if there's an easier variation. Now at the same time, yoga's about exploring. So I want you to try everything and then back off to your degree. Now life, like this class, will change with each breath. So, on the inhale, draw the crown of the head to the front of the room. The back will come alive as you lengthen forward. On the exhale, fold low. Again, inhale, get long. Maybe the elbows reach forward. Exhale, descend. Releasing the hands to the floor now. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, fold low. A slight bend of both knees, chin to chest, single breath. Inhale, roll it up gently, restack the vertebrae, coming all the way up to standing. And on the exhale, bend the knees deep. So we'll drift into a horse stance. From here, we'll float the arms up, the wrists are loose. It's called brush hands, a little Tai Chi to, to link body and breath. On the inhale, straighten the legs, wrists reach high. On the exhale, bend the knees, the back is flat, and simply brush the front of the room. Inhale, straighten the legs, wrists reach higher. Exhale, come down lower. Just come down as deep as you want. Inhale, brush up. Long exhale, brush down. Now next inhale, we'll float all the way up. This time I want you to rotate to the right. Be sure to flex that right foot. On the exhale, gently brushing the right side of the room. Inhale, brush all the way up. This time we're going to come over, flex left foot. Exhale, brushing left side. Inhale, gently rise, return to center. On the exhale, slowly descend, easy. Each inhale, wrist lead the way, come up a little higher. Exhale, coming down a little lower. Good, inhale, brush up. Long exhale, brushing down. Inhale, coming up one more time, we're gonna rotate to the right at the top. On the exhale, Brushing right side of the room, be sure to flex that right foot. Inhale, brush all the way up. You guessed it, coming over, flex left foot. Exhale, brushing left side. Inhale, gently rise, return to center. On the exhale, hands, breath, energy all come down slow. Awesome. From here, let's bring the feet together. Strong legs, single breath, inhale out and up. On the exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, crown the head to the front of the room. On the exhale, fold low. Next inhale, bend both knees, sit back into a chair, draw those hands high. On the exhale, hands find prayer. Beautiful. We'll keep it simple here in week one. Just starting to build a little strength. I want to help you discover the benefits of yoga and why we use it. So in this pose, we're bending the knees and we're finding sensation. It's an amazing thing when we feel something. 
When you feel something, it draws your awareness to this moment. That's what yoga is about because that's where life happens. You see, all of life happens here and now. Our mind likes to hold on to the past, but it's gone. Our mind likes to worry about the future, but it's never quite here. The art of yoga is that all of life happens here and now. I want to keep you connected. The way I do that is these poses to create sensation. Now, if you're not feeling enough sensation to be here and now, let me help. You can reach the hands high. Each inhale, reaching the fingers higher, and the exhale, softening the shoulders down. Now I'm introducing you to the duality, an intense situation, but still calm. What about the duality? Reaching up high, but relaxing the shoulder down. Beautiful. Want to add a little imbalance? I can do that for you. Try to float the heels. Sometimes called thunderbolt. You can see it here. Each inhale reaching up on the exhale softening. Maybe bending the knees deeper. Every time it gets a little bit more intense, Jessica smiles. Because it's the challenging situations in life that mean the most. Just because something's hard doesn't mean it's bad. In fact, quite the contrary. You take the most meaningful things in your life, divvy it up, easy, hard, I would bet most, if not all, come down to the challenging side. So let's look for a little challenge. Inhale, reach a little higher. On the exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. We're coming all the way up slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs, palms press. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, crowd that to the front of the room. On the exhale, simply plant the hands, walk, jump, or maybe slowly float the feet back. Find that high plank pose, upper push-up position. Now, if this is too intense, meaning you can't breathe through it, check out Jess over here. The knees are down. You'll get stronger, quicker by customizing this practice. Now, I want to be sure that you're pressing the mat away so this back is nice and flat. Fingers spread wide. On the inhale, drift forward, top of the toes. On the exhale, come down slow, elbows next to ribs. Next inhale, draw this chest forward. On the exhale, press down strong shoulders. Three slow breaths here. I'm going to use Jessica to show you something here. I want you to collapse for a moment in the shoulders. Now, I know some of you guys are like this at here, at home. If this is the case, I want you to keep those knees or even the thighs down, then press the shoulders away. Press the shoulders away. Create that space. If you're feeling really comfortable here, that's cool. You can engage the legs. The knees will start to come up. On the inhale, draw the chest a little closer. On the exhale, tuck the toes and bring the hips to the sky. Good. First downward facing dog today. Let me go over the basics. Fingers are spread wide. You're looking back at the feet. Now, I know throughout this entire program, there's this tendency to watch the TV. But really, I want you to listen to the verbal cues. I want the head hanging loose here. Now, you're looking back at the feet. They're about hips width apart. And then all of life follows your will, your intent. So we want action. Again, all of life here and now. All action happens here and now. So each inhale, press the tailbone higher. This will get you stronger. On the exhale, head hangs and heels reach. This will get you longer. Go let the heels reach. There you go. Inhale, crouch deep. On the exhale, walk, jump, or float forward. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold low. Coming up slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs, palms press. Exhale, fold. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, once again, walk, jump, or float back. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, descend. Elbows next to ribs. Inhale, chest forward, heart open. Exhale, tuck the toes, hip to the sky. Good, you can walk it out here. Bend one knee, press opposite heel of the mat. Slowly bend other knee, press other heel. Often called walking the dog. It's nice to kind of take stock to see where you are. That way you appreciate the change that you do every day. Inhale, tailbone higher. On the exhale, deep lunge, right foot. Stand the left toes and keep, in fact, keep the hands down for a moment. I want you to feel that left leg strong, that left heel reaching. If this is too intense, you can drop that left knee with Jesse. That's cool. From here, extend the arms to the sides of the room. Now, I like this pose because the breath is low and slow. You see, you can feel it against the top of that right thigh. If you need to feel more, let me help you out. Try to pick up that right heel. I'm actually looking for shakiness because when the body is shaking, it's simply requesting strength. And every day, you get weaker or stronger. 
Every day, you choose the direction of change. By doing this today, you will be stronger tomorrow. That's the way it works. It's that simple. Now, the lower half as is. Inhale, bring those arms out and up. On the exhale, let's open wide, palms to the sky. So look up. Good. Wendy's leaning forward just a little bit. So we're going to get that heart open wide. Tuck the tailbone. Ah, feel the difference there. Beautiful. Can you smile when life gets a little intense? No big deal. Jessica's always got a smile. It's beautiful. Inhale, hands touch above. On the exhale, let's bring the hands all the way down. Right foot up, back, down. Again, you can modify this by lowering the knees. Full inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, come down slow. Inhale, chest forward, heart open. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips coming high. Inhale, pressing the tailbone a little higher. On the exhale, let's lunge that left foot. You guessed it, stand right toes. Again, keep the hands down for a moment and feel this. Feel that right heel reaching back. Feel the breath low and slow, deep against that left thigh. And then feel the arms extend to the sides of the room. Check the breath. We're going to challenge it, but I don't want you to lose it. Let me check in with that left heel. See if you can float it. You're feeling very strong here. I know some of you guys are pretty strong already. You can reach the hands forward, the biceps near the ears. Each inhale, get long, and exhale, pressing the mat away. Now, if the right knee's off the ground, right leg real strong, right heel pressing the back of the room. From here, hands to the sides of the room. Inhale, out and up. On the exhale, bend the elbows, draw the thumbs to the back of the neck. So here, each inhale, lift this chest. On the exhale, eyes to the sky. Now, looking for the little things like the palms being pressed, looking for the little things like the thumbs touching the back of the neck. Go to a few breaths here. And throughout this class, you'll see each of us in a different place. These bodies unique, just like yours, no two alike. Eyes drift skyward and feel what's stopping the elbows from separating. What tension, what tightness are you finding here? Two breaths, finish them each. Good, from here, inhale, both hands high, reach. On the exhale, we'll bring the hands all the way down. Left foot up, back, down, no sound. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, descend slow. Inhale, draw this chest forward, heart wide open. On the exhale, tuck the toes, hips to the sky. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, float. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Next, inhale, bend both knees. Sit back into a chair, hands come high. On the exhale, hands find prayer. Go ahead, slow it down. That breath's still fluid, easy. Now here, try to float the toes. So we'll pick up the toes. You'll feel the weight sink a little deeper into the hips. Two breaths. This time, just play with how low can you go. Start to challenge that breath. I'm looking to get a little uncomfortable so we get stronger. Inhale a little taller. Exhale, fold. Inhale long. Exhale low. Coming up slow, inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, this time left hand brushes left side of the room and the right hand comes over. So we'll start touching that right side. Now here's the tricky part. Each inhale, lift through the left side first. On the exhale, try to soften that right shoulder. So again, we're reaching up, yet relaxing that shoulder down. You can start looking down as you grow comfortable. Try to find the world, the palm of your right hand. Working on that focus. Strong legs, single breath. Inhale, reach out with the left hand up. On the exhale, right hand comes down, left hand comes over. So again, different side to side, different day to day. But try this. Each inhale, lifting through the right side first. Left side will follow, it's attached. On the exhale, soften the left shoulder. Hips can flare, feet flat. Just two good breaths here. Slow inhale, right hand comes up to meet left. Exhale, swan dive. 
Inhale, crown the head forward. Exhale, plant the hands, walk, jump, or float back. Inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, press. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips to the sky. Next inhale, press that tailbone just a little higher. On the exhale, deep lunge, right foot. Left heel comes down this time. On the inhale, extend the arms out and up. On the exhale, let's open up. Right hand forward, left hand back. So we'll drift in what's often called a warrior two. Let's check the basics out. The right heel lined up with the left arch. Right knee over right foot. Now the good news is you set the intensity of this class and you set the intensity of this pose. This pose is set by that back foot. So if it's too much for you, let's walk that foot up a little bit. What's that? It's too easy? That's what I was thinking. Let's walk that left foot back a little bit. Now the breath is the barometer. I want to make sure that you're pressing the outside left foot down the mat. Now to get a little technical, we'll start to look at the hips. I'll pick on Wendy for a moment. Usually this back hip starts to come up a little bit, so I want to level off the hips. Now as you do, you'll have to lift through that arch, keep that knee in line. And the arms are extended, but the shoulders still soft. And you see, the mind has a tendency to follow the eyes. So we'll send it just beyond the right middle fingers. In fact, I'll tell you what, here, let's close them for just two breaths. Each inhale, I want you to fill this body finger to finger, toe to toe. On the exhale, stay soft as life flows through you. This breath, like energy, we borrow moment by moment, not charged up at birth like a battery. No, each breath comes in as energy does. Each breath comes out as energy does. In the end, our life comes down to what we do with this energy as we borrow it. Well done. Inhale long. Exhale left to right. Inhale both high. Exhale, draw the hands together behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, knuckles and shoulders drop as you look up. On the exhale, fold forward and draw the right shoulder to the right knee. Let the head hang loose so you're looking back at that left foot and wrap the hands to the front of the room. Yeah, for some reason that neck always starts to tighten up here. Now, if you're feeling really comfortable here, you can sneak the right shoulder on the inside of the right knee. I know Jessica is pretty flexible, so I see that shoulder starting to sneak in. How about two long exhales here? What can you do with them? Maybe the palms, they press. There you go. Maybe you bend the right knee deeper. Maybe this life gets a little bit more intense and you get a little bit more calm. Imagine taking that response with you throughout this entire week. Slow, inhale, let's draw those hands up high. On the exhale, open up once again, right hand forward, left hand back. Now that right leg is nice and warm. Now we're gonna open it, so straighten the right leg, step in a bit with the left foot. On the inhale, extend the right hand forward. On the exhale, right hand, right leg, left hand to the sky. They call it triangle, but it doesn't matter what you call these things. I just want you to feel it. Each inhale, press from the outside left foot, reach the crown of the head. We leave this class just a little taller than when we started. On the exhale, what's stopping the right hand from coming down? Now, when you first start the program, maybe the right hand's on the thigh or the shin. Week by week, we'll go a little deeper. Your body will open up and return back to its natural state. We're born flexible, mobile. We just want to get that back now. Extraordinary. Next inhale, rotate, jet airplane. On the exhale, soften, nose over right toes. Take a moment, draw that right hip back, left hip forward. On the inhale, long. On the exhale, just drape over that right leg. Easy. Two breaths here. Head hanging loose there, Sage. There you go. Inhale, seek length, slight bend right knee. On the exhale, left foot joins right. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Next inhale, bend both knees. Sit back into a chair. Yeah, one more time. On the exhale, hands find prayer. But this time we're going to add a twist. It goes like this. Inhale long. Exhale everything rotating to the right. Join left elbow on that side of the right knee. So take a moment. Look down at the knees. I want them bent evenly today. Then each inhale, press the sit bones back. Get a little longer. On the exhale, press down right hand. Twist chest right side of the room. I'll get you just a little leverage here. Now if you're feeling enough to keep that mind quiet, perfect. You're in the right place. That mind's starting to wander a little bit. Let me help you out. Extend the left hand, the outside of the right knee foot, right hand the sky. 
we're looking for sensation. We want to lose this mind and come back to our senses. Two breaths. Can you look up? Hey, can you close your eyes? There you go. Don't hold that breath. I see you. Let's bring those hands back to prayer. You got it. Inhale, hands high, but the hips stay low. On the exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, get low. Coming all the way up slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs, palms press. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, crown the head forward. Exhale, hey, let's walk, jump or float back. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, descend slow. Inhale, chest forward, heart open. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips to the sky. Yeah, you can already feel the difference. Man, it happens so quickly. You just got to take a little time each and every day to point the direction of change. Inhale, tailbone higher. Exhale, deep lunge, left foot. Right heel spins down. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, open up. Left hand forward, right hand back. Hey, warrior two, just the other side. Same principles apply. Check the alignment. Then you set the intensity. But often you're stronger than you think. So maybe the right foot walks back a little bit. How those hips doing? This time we want to drop the right hip level with the left. This time we'll have to lift to that arch, keep that knee in line. Now, if you want some bonus sensation, bonus points, try to draw the heels together. I've never seen feet move, but you'll feel the left hamstring and the right thigh come alive. Energetically, you'll start to draw this energy straight at the center of the body. And now the eyes close. And it's just you and the breath for a moment. Setting down all those random thoughts. Trying to unplug for a moment. You know, we have about 6,000 unique thoughts a day but we think 20,000 times a day. So we repeat ourselves. So here, put a little space in it. Let's unplug from all those thoughts, all that repetition, and simplify. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right to left. Inhale, both coming high. Exhale, hands coming together behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, knuckles and shoulders drop. Open up this chest. On the exhale, fold forward, e either bringing the shoulder to the knee and the top of the head to the floor, or you can sink that shoulder on the inside of the knee and the top of the head toward the floor. It's not going to touch mine. It's not going to touch this lifetime, but I feel a sensation along the way. Now, since you're looking behind you, you can look at that right foot and notice how the outside of the right foot is pressed firmly to the floor. Then all you got to do is be and breathe. The change, it's constant. Two of them here. Slow. Inhale, we'll float those hands all the way back up. On the exhale, once again, open up, left hand forward, right hand back. You guessed it. We'll straighten that left leg, stepping a bit with the right foot. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left hand, left leg, right hand to the sky. So feel the difference. We're looking for uniqueness. The legs are straight and strong, the body flat, as if in between two panes of glass. And you're trying to figure out what's stopping the left hand from coming down that left leg. Again, it can be on the thigh, shin, ankle, foot. You real flexible folks. It can be on the outside of the left foot. That's okay. You don't have to be real flexible. Hang in there. And again, the breath unlocks the body. You can't force this body. You can't force this life. But you can attract this openness by finishing each and every breath. Don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Give me two long exhales here and see what happens. Already time to keep moving. Next inhale, rotate jet airplane, draw that left hip back, right hip forward, and then drape over that left leg. Head hanging loose, just a couple breaths up and down, left leg. Long exhales, once again, extend them. Inhale long, slight bend left knee. 
Exhale, walk right to left. Inhale, crown the head forward. Exhale, fold low. Inhale, bend both knees. Kick back into a chair. One more time. On the exhale, hands find prayer. So just set up the basics. The feet and knees pressed together. Hips as low as you want to go. Take the weight off the toes. Feel the shift. And let's prepare for the twist. On the inhale, get long. Exhale everything because it makes it much easier. Rotate to the left. Drawing right elbow on the outside left knee. So right away, check those knees out. We want to balance this body. Each inhale getting long, and exhale, press down left hand, twist chest, left side of the room. Good. Sometimes we'll get a little wonky here. We'll try to keep it lined up. Now, where do you need to go today to feel something on this side? If this works, this works. Don't go anywhere else. This is your post at this moment. Not quite working for you. I know Jess probably wants to open it up. Right hand down, left hand high. So look at that left thumb. And the real secret here is movement. Nothing is stagnant. Technically, floor is moving, walls moving, everything moves. Each inhale, she's getting longer. On the exhale, she's riding this breath till this body softens. Speaking of softening, the shoulders soften. There you go. Easy way to soften, smile. Why not? Oh, look at those knees start to come up. Yeah, breathing through that shakiness. Hands coming back to prayer. Inhale, hands high, hips stay low. On the exhale, this time the hands come together behind the back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, eyes to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, open up. That's okay, just the fingers interlace, that's okay. If you feel comfortable though, press those palms. And big inhales up and down, that tightness in the back of the body. These long, slow exhales. You finish the breath, the body will do the rest. Well done. Inhale, bend both knees. Sit back into a chair. Last time, hands come high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. All the way up slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs. You can lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, once again, walk, jump, or float back. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, descend. Inhale, chest forward, heart open. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips coming high. Again, walking out of here just to feel the difference. Inhale, press the tailbone just a little higher. On the exhale, deep lunge, right foot. Let's stay on left toes this time. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, draw left hand forward, right hand back, and check out the right side of the room. We'll get a little twisted now. Each inhale getting longer. On the exhale, first just think about separating the fingers. Now think about softening the shoulders. Good. Now maybe the right knee bends deeper. Maybe the left leg's stronger, or maybe the left knee comes down. It doesn't matter. Here to explore. No expectations means no disappointments. Now you can stay right here or you can flip that palm up. On the inhale, bring left hand high. On the exhale, bring it on over. Looking for a little space. Latsu wrote in a cup or a bowl, it's a space that makes it useful. In a dwelling, it's the doors and windows that make it livable. In a wheel, it's the space that makes it work. We're looking for space in this body to make it work. Next inhale, core strength will float you back up. On the exhale, left hand the inside of the right foot, right hand the sky. I want you to feel what's stopping the left shoulder from touching the inside of the right knee. The eyes drifting that right thumb. Inhale, right hand a little higher. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Right foot up, straight back. A single leg plank pose, a little core strength involved now. You can always drop that left knee. Inhale, drifting. Exhale, descend. Inhale, swim the chest to the front of the room. Try to keep the hips level. On the exhale, tuck left toes, hips and right leg to the sky. Well, now you're upside down on one leg and still the head is hanging loose. This alone proves that you can be in a challenging situation and still calm. It proves that peace comes from within. 
Now here, flex to the right heel, point that little right toe down. As you point the right toe down, you'll feel more in the back of the left leg. We'll keep that left heel reaching. The left heel go long. Ah, there you go. Inhale, heel high. Exhale, lunge it through. Left heel comes down, nice and slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, flow. All the way down, right foot up, back, down. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, draw this chest forward, heart wide open. Exhale, tuck the toes up to the sky. Good, inhale, press tailbone higher. Exhale, deep lunge, left foot. Let's stay on the right toes. Inhale, out, up. Exhale, you probably guessed it, right hand forward, left hand back. We're checking out the left side of the room. Again, modify as needed. Customize, better put. Now, what's stopping the fingers from separating? Can you look down that soft left shoulder? That softer left shoulder. Hey, there you go. And again, you can stay here, that's cool. Or you can flip that right palm in the sky and the inhale, bring it up. On the exhale, come on over. Reaching up intensely, yet relaxing down intensely. That's that balance. Having too much energy, just as problematic as too little. Health is balance. Look at that heel reaching. Flex to the right heel. Cool, feel the difference? There you go. Extraordinary job. Next inhale, float back up. On the exhale, right hand the inside, left foot, left hand the sky. Just a nice little twist here. Start by looking down, easy, look up at that left thumb. Again, what's stopping that right shoulder from touching the inside left knee? Inhale, left hand higher. Exhale, left hand comes down. Let's pick up that left foot, draw it straight back. Again, you can drop that right knee with me and Jess. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, come up strong. Hips are level. Exhale, tuck right toes. Hips and left leg to the sky. Now, both heels are reaching. One to the floor, one to the ceiling. And we're just feeling the sensation of trying to separate the heels. Again, if you point that little left toe down, you'll feel more. Bet your neck's tight. Check it. Let the head hang loose. Look back at the right foot. Relax. It's yoga. Good. 47 breaths here. Hang in there. Just kidding. On the inhale, heel a little higher. Exhale, lunge it through. Right heel comes down. Rest in motion. Inhale, out, up. Go big. Exhale, flow down. Left foot up, back, down, no sound. Inhale, long, exhale, low. Inhale, come up strong. Exhale, tuck the toes up to the sky. And walk it out for a moment. Doesn't take much time to bring this body back to its natural state. Long, strong, loose. Inhale, crouch, exhale, float. Inhale, long, exhale, low. Inhale, reach out, reach up, strong legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, once again, walk, jump, or float back. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, descend very slowly. Inhale, chest forward, heart open. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips to the sky. Next inhale, press that tailbone just a little higher. On the exhale, lower the right knee. So check this out. Line up the right hand, the right knee, and the left foot all in a line, and extend the left hand to the sky. There's a little variation of a side plank, a little weight training. Once again, space, gravity, desire, all we need. Just press strong to that right shoulder. So I want you to press the mat away. Now if you're thinking, oh, this is too easy. Okay, I can help with that. Straighten the right leg as well. Stack the legs. Each inhale, press through the heels, reach the chest. On the exhale, lift the hips here. Here's a little core strength for you. Well beyond aesthetics, digestive system, respiratory system, all relies on this core strength. Now on this side, if you want, we can get long by extending the, the left hand forward. Give me two breaths. That's all you need. 
Just putting in that request to be a little stronger tomorrow. Inhale, left hand high. Exhale, left hand comes down. Now, you can either drop that left knee or just simply roll open to the right. So customize, that's cool. Press them out of the way strong with that left hand. Maybe the eyes find that right thumb. Maybe the right hand finds the front of the room. And then move with it. Each inhale, get longer. On the exhale, hips lift. You're getting stronger. Smile. Life, it's happening here. You're doing it. Inhale, right hand up. On the exhale, bring the right hand down. Pick up the left knee if it's down. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, come down slow. Inhale, draw this chest forward. On the exhale, tuck the toes, hips to the sky. Last time, simply walk it out here. Feel the difference you've made. Inhale, press the tailbone just a little higher. On the exhale, lower both knees. Let's come on to all fours. Now, I want you to relax in the back, so you can collapse in the shoulders. This is the only time I'll tell you this. On the inhale, draw the chest forward, nice and soft. Exhale, round it out, spine the sky. Again, inhale long, hands lightly gripping. Exhale everything. Inhale, seek length. And exhale, finish the breath. Inhale, neutral. On the exhale, soften, and we'll keep it simple. Cross your ankles and sit straight back. Easy. From here, let's bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees extend out, then down. And today, we'll find the feet right away. On the inhale, sit up tall. On the exhale, fold forward. Now, I often see people getting really hunchy here. I want the back flat. I don't care how low you can go. I just want to find sensation. We're working on opening up the inner thighs and letting the knees descend. If you still find yourself hunching over here, reach the hands forward. Each inhale, lift. On the exhale, come on down. The challenge here is to keep moving. Treat each breath as if it was a gift. Each exhale, complete it. back up. This is simple. Just pick the knees up. Keep the feet nice and flat. Extend the hands to the front of the room. On the inhale, sit up tall. On the exhale, lean back until you find a little tripod. It's your tailbone and two sit bones. Now you can stay right here. This is cool. If you're feeling a little bit more strong, let's start to float the legs. Each inhale, get longer. On the exhale, try to straighten the legs. Drawing the legs and chest a little closer together. Every time it gets hard, Jessica smiles. That's awesome. I hope you're smiling as well. Again, why not? Life happens. Whether you enjoy it or not is up to you. Only you. Now this time, let's lower straight legs down. Draw the hands underneath the shoulders, fingers to the front of the room. Check this out. On the inhale, lift the hips. Draw the toes to the front of the room. Draw the shoulder blades together. Let's look behind us. And then from here, lower the hips straight down. Reach forward on the inhale and lower the back down one vertebrae at a time on the exhale. Take it slow and come all the way down. Relax. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, almost done. Let's draw those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little bear hug. Well deserved. Rocking side to side. We'll relax the back a little bit. Now, if you're real flexible, let's grab the outsides of the feet and draw those knees underneath the shoulders. Again, side to side feels pretty good. From here, extend the arms to the sides of the room and press the heels to the sky. 
make a little L shape here. So try to flex through the heels. If you're modifying this at home, you can bend the knees 90 degrees, but no further than 90 degrees. Now the palms are face down. On the inhale, get long, even laying down here. On the exhale, slowly allow the legs to drift to the right side of the room. So the right knee or right foot touches. We're gonna try to keep that left shoulder against the mat. Inhale, guess what? It's core strength, drawing the legs back to center. Hopefully, there you go. On the exhale, let's come down left. The slower you go, the stronger you'll be. Inhale, center. Exhale, gently coming down right. Inhale, center. Can you smile here? Exhale, coming down left. Yeah, I see Jessica can. Yeah, Wendy can. There you go. Inhale, center. Exhale, last time, all the way down the right. Touch it down. Smile big. Inhale, center. Exhale, last time, coming down left. There you go. Inhale, center. On the exhale, just draw your knees into your chest. Awesome, awesome job. Every inch of this body, the systematic nature of, of yoga designed to expose weaknesses. That's the point. We can't turn them into strengths unless we expose the weaknesses first. Now, keep the knees bent. Bring the feet flat to the mat. The feet are hips width apart. On the inhale, simply tuck the tailbone. On the exhale, press hips to the sky. Let's go for it. Now, I know those knees want to flare open. We'll keep them about hips width apart. Here you can walk the shoulder blades together, interlace the fingers, straighten the elbows. Awesome. And we'll just use this pose here this week. So three breaths, up and down the front of the body. Three long exhales. Ride this breath till this body soft. Still smiling. Awesome. Hey, let's start that descent. Shoulders coming down, back touching down, knees back into your chest, easy. Now I want to keep that right knee high and extend the left leg to the front of the room and down. Let that left leg grow heavy. Inhale, knee to you. And on the exhale, left hand draws right knee, left side of the room, right hand, right ear, right shoulder, spin down. Now if you're a regular practitioner, there's a couple different variations of this. I really like that shoulder down first. I don't ca care if the knee ever touches. And I want the shoulder soft, remember that? All right, we'll work on that softness. Eyes closed. I'll tell you what, just a couple breaths here. Each inhale like a wave, up and down the body, looking for leftover tension. Each exhale like a wave, breaking on the beach. Man, this body softens, spreads, releases, relaxes. And rolling the hips back down on the inhale. Reset that knee by drawing the knee back into the chest. On the exhale, extend the right leg. You probably guessed it, left knee coming up. Inhale, knee to you. On the exhale, final twist. Draw that left knee to the right side of the room. Left hand, left ear, left shoulder coming down. Heavy as the left shoulder, soft to the face, eyes, they close. Easy. Now those hips roll back down. Inhale one more time, knee to you. And on the exhale, let the legs extend. Let the feet drop open. If this doesn't feel awesome on the back, I want you to draw the soles of the feet together. Let the knees extend out, then down. And then be still for a few moments. Sounds so easy. This is generally one of the more challenging poses. We want to unplug from all those thoughts this week. Here, this is the pose where we do it. This is where we test that ability. So each inhale, just grab hold of that random thought. And each exhale, let it drift out with the breath. We ride this breath till this mind goes quiet. Now don't get frustrated. Meditation, not thinking about nothing. Nothing in the end is something. Just let the thoughts flow. The art of meditation is not attaching to the thoughts. This is also where our body acclimates, where it processes all the requests for strength and length, heating and healing. So do yourself a favor and spend some time here, really as much as you can, but at least a few minutes. 
the eyes close, each inhale, just scanning the body for leftover tension, this mind for random thought. And on the exhale, let both go. With a little practice, you'll find a little quiet, you'll find a little peace. With a little practice, you'll take this peace with you throughout your day. Extraordinary job here today, well done. Spend a little time here, enjoy it. Welcome to week one. We'll see you again soon.